welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. If you didn't know, now you know. And I have something for us to unbox today. It is handpicked from Secret Nail Affair to you. Halloween unique box. This is really cool. So here's what the packaging looks like. We're gonna open it together and look at all of the items. This box, I believe, was $99. And you fill it out a little quiz, and then based on the things you like, they pick out stuff for you. So, simple concept. Halloween is the best thing. Let's see what's in here. So when we open the box, this is what we see. We've got a little note, a little thank you note with a discount code. Very nice. And then we've got a little business card and their email. And look, they have their very own tissue paper. That's nice, I like that. Let's peel it back. What's in here? Ha ha, fantastic things. Okay, so I am going to scoot this to the side so that we can pull each item out and have a look. Okay, so first we had these two items. They were bubble wrapped together. So let's open them up and have a look. First is this one, it's a gel color. I don't see a label on what color. Oh, glass top coat. Okay, a good top coat is always nice to have. It's pretty thin, which I like a thin top coat because gel bulks up so easily. So a thinner top coat is better for getting in those thin layers. Pause if you wanna read the ingredients. It does say it goes in LED for one minute, UV lamp to two to three minutes. So that's a little bit of a longer cure. So make sure that you are fully curing your gel products so that you can reduce your risk of allergy. It also does specify that it is HEMA free. We've got a line art gel, black. How convenient. Here's the bottle, very similar to other line art gel bottles. I'm gonna try and make this big enough for you to read it if you want to. This one does say one to two minutes cure time and it does not say HEMA free, but it actually has a very short list of ingredients. Look at that. It doesn't appear to be too drippy, like you can see it pooling a little bit there. That's okay. I just wanna make sure that you wipe that off because it does start to, but a lot of them like to drip off on the brush or the, this part of it, so you wanna keep your eye on that. Wipe that excess off. Looks like we have a couple of spider gels and they say disco spider gel. I wonder what that could mean. This one has a blue label and this one has a purple label, so I would be willing to bet that indicates their color. I'm gonna use this stick to open this up because I don't have any gloves available and I don't wanna accidentally get this on me or on the tools that I use on my hands. So let's try and open this. I think we've discovered the disco part. It's a reflective. I love that. That would make such cool lines. I'm gonna wipe this off a little bit. Close that up. All right, let's look at this one. How pretty is that? It looks more purple in the camera than it does in real life. In real life, the purple is more of a mauve leaning purple, but that's still very beautiful. It's a reflective as well. It has that traditional gel smell too. I can smell it from here. It's weird, like you don't imagine gel to have a smell, but it 100% does. Now we have a gazillion containers, so we're gonna open them up and look at what is in them. All right, so looky here. These are charms. We've got four of them. They're little gold skulls with bows on them. It looks like the rhinestones might be pink. Very cute. All right, look at this one. This one has some sort of shimmer, like a window. You turn it over, it's called Dragon Glass. Let's try and open this up without making a mess. Well, look how pretty that is. It's purple and red and blue, and it is shimmery. You can hear, you can see it's like little bitty particles. The blue reflect, purple. 
It's really pretty. It's gonna look really good, like encapsulated. All right, we have another one of these smaller type containers. It's some stars. And it looks like they're in a bit of a size assortment. Some are larger than others. With these, you can bend them with a cuticle pusher to help them curve around your nail, or you can actually stick them down in foil glue to help them lay flat while you are encapsulating them. Very pretty. They are kind of a pinky purple. That looks like it for the smaller container, so now we've got some bigger ones. So let's see here. Ooh. The lids are on these really well, which I appreciate for packaging while it's shipping. I'm gonna get this tweezer out so I can peel this seal up. Ah, oh no, a little bat has escaped. What in the world, this thing is on so good. Just peel up in one piece. Look at them little bats. They're getting everywhere. <laughs> There's so many of them. They look like ants. How cute are those? I'm gonna have to collect these little boogers, try and get them back into their habitat. You can use these for individual placement or sprinkle them on. You'll just wanna tap them down if you do. How precious. I like those a lot. This guy's a little bit dirty. <laughs> All right, what have we got? Oh, that peeled off much better. Ooh, it's like a glitter mix. It looks like they are hex glitters and they're in an assortment of sizes and some of those are little micros. Look how they glitter and sparkle. Isn't that pretty? And I actually really love this color combination. It kind of reminds me of Mardi Gras or dragons. This would make a really good dragon themed scale design. Very, very beautiful. We've got something dark. It looks like it might be mylar. This is another one that doesn't want to peel up with ease. Oh no, I'm tearing it a lot. Fantastic, I guess. <laughs> All right, yep, it's little shards and they're Blue, but also purple. Man, yeah, no. isn't that cute? Look at that reflect. Love that. Very midnighty. Very cute. All different sizes and shapes. I like that randomness. This one is clear. What have we here? Rainbow glass. It looks like it's large shards. These are the ones that are really great for encapsulating to do like that Aurora nail. And we've got pink and blue, and it looks like they may shimmer green. That's cute. Enchanted Potion. Not all of these had names, did they? They did. <gasps> Spellbound, this is the exclusive one. They said that we were gonna get an unreleased color and I bet it was this one. This is that one that I was talking about look like dragon scales. The bats didn't have a name and neither did the blue ones. Some of them have names. Let's get this one opened up and see what we have. Uh, yeah this is similar. This one is more of a greeny bluey with some pink. This one kind of reminds me more of like a mermaid. And is that silver as well? Oh uh, yeah, that's quite pretty. And it's got some big shards of that stuff. That would look really nice encapsulated. This is a fun one, y'all, look. Look at that. <laughs> it's got eyeballs, I think. Or maybe the ingredients to make eyeballs. Great. I'm tearing this one up too. Let's go this way. I was making it worse going that other direction. All right. Okay. So what we have are an assortment of little circle glitters. Some of them are like rings. So you could make eyes. But also you could really just do like a 60s circle dot design. We've got black, we've got purple, we've got green, we've got white. These are 
precious. Very fun. I'm gonna have to do something with these. Does it have a name? It does. H-Town, isn't that Houston? Let's see if I can get it open without tearing it up. Ah. Oh, no, can't. <laughs> Great, all right. Oh yeah, look at that, it's purple. Purple with a green shimmer, it looks like. It's like pinky purple, like like almost a rose purple, if that's a color. They're very re reflective, I like that. That's gonna pre provide a lot of sparkle. Very cute. It's witching. Oh, look how easy that one peeled up. That was nice. <gasps> <sighs> Oh, fantastic. I've blown glitter everywhere. You know, you just don't live covered in enough glitter, I guess. Is it all over my face? I'll be honest. Look at that. It's purple and green. And it's like, they're little hex glitters, but they appear to have like a texture. It's trash out of here. That'd be cool. Here's one. Oops, well, it got away. Anyway, I'm trying to pick one of these up. So, you probably cannot see that. Maybe you can't. Okay, you see it? You definitely can. I'm gonna zoom that in, in post. But you see it? It's textured. Isn't that neat? I like that a lot. These are cool. This one doesn't have a name. Well, it peeled up really easily, but it also flapped and scattered everywhere. So we've got purple and gold with a bit of a green shimmer. Also very in line with the theme we're working with here. It is different size and shaped shards. That's very pretty. Would make a really great encapsulated nail and reflecting in all kinds of angles. Let's close that back up. We've got another one with no name, but it appears to be fun shapes. This paper tore at every part that I tried to peel. But look at it. We've got circles and hexes. Um, some are purple, some are orange. Looks like some of them may be stars, little green stars. How cool. Ooh, and is that a heart? It sure is. I found a little heart. It might be lost. <laughs> I don't know. I couldn't. There, there's another one. I think it's orange. I've caught it. Yeah, a little orange or yellow hearts. How cute. Love it. Look at this mess I'm making everywhere. But these containers are just so full. And they're also large, so like, never in my life am I gonna be able to use up all this glitter. We've got another named one, Midnight Fright. All right, let's check it out. There we go. It is round, tiny round ones, medium-y hex ones, glitters. Put that down for a sec. And this one has these little lavender bats. How cute! We could do like a purple and black bat set. This one has those textured hex glitters as well. These ones are green. That's a cute combination. Very vampiric, very spoopy. Super, super cute. I have a lot of Halloween nails to do this season, and I bet I can incorporate a ton of this stuff, but I can't make enough nails to use all of this up. I cannot determine if this says Misty of or Miss Love. I'm not sure, let me know. But it looks pretty. Oh yeah, look at that. It's that mermaidy blue green reflect with this light purple pinky shade. This is for you pastel vampires. This is so pretty. This is when you want to be like dazzling and sparkly, but also you're still edgy. <laughs> you're like, I'm still a goth. I just love these colors. Fantastic. All right, this one's peeling pretty well. It's pink and red and maybe some white. 
It's hard to say if that's white or just a reflect. <laughs> hard to say. You know, this one's going to be dual purpose because this would also be amazing at Valentine's. These colors are gorgeous. I am not sure, but I think I saw something in here that might have been green, but that might also have just been a trick of the light. I can't be sure. This one doesn't have a name, but look what it is. Look, it's more bats, but these are like transparent and then they shimmer purple to green. This is going to look amazing over like a black or at least a dark polish and then you encapsulate it so that like whenever it's shining that color through it, that's going to make it really pop and then it's also translucent so it's not covering it up either. Ugh obsessed look they're escaping everywhere I was trying to clean these up earlier but now like why they're getting everywhere vision it's hollow look at that there's a rainbow let me get this light in here a little bit look at that oh that's so pretty super super pretty they're like medium size Hex glitters. They're gorgeous. They sparkle. They dance. They're silver, but also colorful. They're a little bit pink leaning, too, I think. Or maybe that's my imagination. Maybe that's the reflection of this box. I don't know. But these are real pretty. Capricorn. This is me. This is my sign. What have we? Uh. Okay, it is a glitter mix. They are little circles and hexes. They're dark purple with almost like a champagne reflect. Maybe a hint of green, a little bit gold. These are definitely beautiful. They are multifaceted and sparkly. I love it. Make sure you're replacing these when you close them, if you throw this part away, this lid is not going to seal correctly and it's going to come loose and leak. La Llorona. Ooh, did you see what I saw? It's Black Hollow. One of my favorites. I have a Black Hollow polish that I'm absolutely obsessed with. And here is a matching glitter. Very pleased with this. Look how beautiful that is. If you have ever been to a vampire disco, you know this is the aesthetic right here. I love this one. Look at that. It's fantastic. Draculaura for when you're a lady, but you're also Dracula. There it is. That's pretty. It's like a metallic rose pink. Very glittery. Very ballerina, really. That's so pretty. It's like Barbie, but at Halloween time. Astronomical. That's the word we use to describe the cost of everything these days. Tearing this one up as well. Okay. All right. So what have we here? They are that transparent, translucent type glitter like those bats. But I think these are tiny, tiny shards. Look how little they are. These are super pretty. They are going to look really amazing stuck down in something, maybe like a sugaring or even deep in an encapsulation so they shimmer from the back. That's so cute. They're very, very tiny mylar bits. Look at that. Look what it's doing to my tweezers. My tweezers are pretty. Infinite sparkle. What? What's this? Stunna edition? What is the Stunna edition? <laughs> it is butterflies and flowers and hearts. What else is in here? There's some stars and hex glitters. I know you guys are probably all up in the top of my head right now and I'm yelling into this camera. I'll try and turn it down. This is not Halloween, but it is a very nice addition 
so pretty. And then it's also full of micro glitters. This would make a very beautiful like poured over dumpster nail. That's what I like to call it when it's just everything together piled on top of each other. Trixie Twilight. It looks like we're getting into some finer cut glitters. All right, look at that. That's a very fine milled purple glitter with a green reflective. I am not gonna stir this around because these are tiny and this will go everywhere. Very good for sugaring though. Sapphire. Same type of glitter. Oh, that one peeled off super easy. Look at that. Is that reflective? It's super pretty. I really like this shade of blue. I'm not gonna stir this one around because the same problem, but I like how metallic it is as well. This is gorgeous. Wednesday. It's a green one. It's not just green. Look at that. It's green. It's purple. It's blue. Ooh. It's black, really. This is stunning. I love this one as much as that black hollow one. Oh, I've got to find a way to use this. This is gorgeous. I can just pour this into all my nails. Imagine the galaxy you can make with this. Look, I found another tiny container. Vampire Queen. Oh, I don't know if you can see this as well as I can see it with the light so far away. But like, oh, that's so pretty. It's like, it's brown, but it's like copper. And when I turn it, I can see that shimmer. But I don't know if I can make it show up on camera. I'm trying not well. You can kind of tell that something's happening there. This looks like pigment powder. Like, you know, in that loose eyeshadow type texture. I'm kind of afraid to stick my finger in it, but let's poke it anyway with this. Oh goodness, it's thick. Okay, yeah, so you'd probably want to be rubbing that onto something. Look how nice that is, that's, that's lush. I wonder if it turns kind of ready when you spread it out. All right, we finished our containers, we've got packages. Let's see here. Just stick them onto your fingers and toes. They are stickers. They say ink, they say off, they say on, they say pour. It looks like there are crosses and these little fanciful thingy-majigs. Got some tribals, some wings. These are pretty cute. Definitely fit in that Halloween gothic vibe. But yo, look at this. <gasps> look at these little neon Halloween stickers. I love that there's flamingos on the packaging. Y'all don't know, but my team is the flamingos. The awkward flamingos. So, I am 100% gonna have to use these. I'm gonna have to put down some black nails and put these little neon stickers on them. They're so cute. We've got some striped stickers of different widths, but it's snake skin. This would make some really cute stripes. This is an interesting little package. It's like, you yeah, hold it here. Yeah, that's nice. I do like the snake skin decoration and I have a lot of these kinds of things, but I just never get to use them. And here is our last package of stickers. This one's another one of them cutesies. Look at this little doll. I read a book not too long ago that had a little possessed doll thing in it and I imagined it to look kind of like this. And we've got some pink blood drips, a little pink jack-o'-lanterns, and look at this little ghost. It's got on a little bow. Oh, the poison apple is even cute. What even is this guy? Hilarious. Is that a leprechaun hat? Or is that the Mad Hatter's hat? Yuck, look at that. What is this thing? The longer you look at it, the wilder it gets. <laughs> Boo! These are cute. All right, so all we have left is peanuts and some more of their fancy little papers. All right, I've crammed it all in here as best as I can. You can't see everything, 
but here's what we got we got two paints one's a top coat one's a liner we got some charms we got this container of this reflective stuff and then this one that is some kind of a pigment powder we got two reflective disco spider gels and then we got this massive pile of assorted glitters of shapes and sizes and colors they are a lot in like the blue purple greeny family but that is because those are the, t the colors that I said were you know my top few in my favorite color genre so I like that they did take that into consideration and they gave me some stuff that fit my style but then these two were my favorite these are so pretty I am just obsessed so obsessed I'm gonna find something to do with these definitely soon love that so that is my amazing haul. And don't forget the stickers. All right, well thank you so much, Secret Nail Affair, for putting this together for me. It is not sponsored. I did pay for this, but it it's amazing. I am 100% satisfied. I enjoyed opening it and I enjoyed the journey and seeing what I got and I really love the products. There's not a single thing here that I don't like definitely would recommend especially if in if you're into the Halloween vibe get you one of these boxes fill out the little questionnaire see what kind of stuff they send you and definitely post about it I want to see what's in your box I will leave you a link to be able to go sign up for this box if you would like I don't earn anything from it but I love it and I want to share the things I love with you so that's it I will wrap this up here thank you for being subscribed to my channel. Make sure that you are here for upcoming videos and giveaways, and you just never know what else. And thank you for your likes, your comments, your interaction. I definitely do appreciate it all. It helps my channel grow, which helps me and helps the algorithm. And I love making these videos for you guys, and I wanna keep being able to do it. Make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss any of the videos, and I will keep them coming as long as you're keeping them watching. And if you know anybody who liked my content, please, send them my video. Also, let me know what you think about the new intro and outro. I think they are precious and I worked really hard on them and I'm quite pleased with what I've come up with. So let me know if you like them too. And if there's anything in particular you want to see for this Halloween season, a style or a particular theme, let me know. I'll see what I can do. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.